What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to just cut a quick video, man. Hopefully it's, well, shit, hopefully it's quick. Sometimes I just go on rants, man. I'm fired up about this stuff, you guys, but um, I, 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 I just try to, try to keep it quick, but you never know how it turns out, man. This right here is just super important, dude. For, for the last few years, man, again, if you've been following me for a while, I've, I've built businesses offline. I've um, built businesses online, and it wasn't until roughly, I mean, I've been around the internet since the beginning, man, since 1999, 2000, as the internet was starting to evolve. It's like, dude, I was here in the, in the very beginning of that, but not necessarily online marketing. I was more of a lead purchaser. And, and I would partner with different lead brokers and buy leads for whatever business I was building, man, 1999, 2000, 2001, into the, into the early 2000s, um, into 2010, you know, selling marketing services and, and Google SEO placement. Like I've been around this stuff for a, for, for, for a while, man. But it wasn't until 2016 when I started building a social media agency and I started learning Facebook ads and I started learning it for, for, for myself to either run for myself or to run for clients because this whole social media agency thing was really making a lot of sense to me when I came across it in 2016. Um, and, 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 and I knew that it was a skill level that was worth having because majority of these small businesses were going to need to know it or they're going to, or they were going to need to, to delegate it to someone that does. So it was in 2016 when I really started trying to master social media marketing and Facebook advertising. And as I started following people, man, um, getting courses, purchasing different courses, following different people on YouTube and trying to learn Facebook ads and, and, and trying to learn what it takes to, you know, build an agency and whatnot. I just truly knew and believed that so much content that I was consuming was missing the basics, like missing the absolute basics. In this video, I'm going to tell you, man, it does not matter if you have the most amazing image, if you have the most amazing video and you're just kicking some knowledge about your product or your service and you're fired up and you have a four minute video, a five minute video, a 10 minute video, a two minute video, whatever. It doesn't matter if you have the best video. It doesn't matter if you have the best targeting. It doesn't matter if you have the best, um, um, detailed targeting, the best demographics, the best freaking age group that you're going after running a Facebook ad. It does not matter on your ad set, on your daily budget, on your lifetime budget, on how you're optimizing mobile or desktop. It does not matter if you don't have step one down, if you don't understand the freaking basics. And that's what I call the campaign level, step one. And the way you get here is come to your page, click on create, and then click on add. This right here, man, is step one. This right here is the absolute basics. If you don't have this part down, none of, none of that other stuff is going to matter. That's why everything I just listed, everything I just named, none of that matters if you don't have this first part down, this campaign special ad, ad category or objective. If you don't have the right objective, this is basic, this is step one, then your entire campaign won't work. It just won't because chances are you're running an ad for a few different reasons. You're running an ad because you have videos and you just want the entire freaking audience to see it. You're targeting a specific niche and that's the thing, man, you have to know your niche. You can't just, you can't just completely, depend on your business, you can't just completely target everyone in that local area unless you are unless you're if you're a restaurant okay everyone eats if you're a realtor okay maybe everyone in that local area let's say in san diego could possibly know someone that might be buying or selling real estate so you can kind of you can kind of broad target a lot of these different demographics and and markets but some but some some businesses take take hardcore niche 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 targeting like for example, um, if you were a a um, let's say you were a plumber, if you were a plumber, if you're a plumber, if you are a plumber and you're building a local business on 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 social media, you're trying to you know the importance of social media, so you have a Facebook page, you have a business page, you have an Instagram, so so you're trying to get your social media hustle up, right? You're a local business owner. Let's say you're in your 40s, you're in your 50s, let's say you're even in your 60s, okay? You know the importance of being on social media. 
And you even probably know by now to, to a certain extent, the importance of running Facebook ads. You've probably been hit up. If you're a local business owner, you've probably been hit up by a few knuckleheads pitching you social media marketing services or Google services um, or website design or logo design. But mainly when it comes to marketing, it's, it's, it's either some type of Google package that they're pitching you. And this is probably a telemarketer probably calling or maybe even coming door to door to your office, to your storefront. Or you got someone pitching Facebook ads and social media marketing. And so my point is, is that this right here is the absolute basics, depending on your objective, depending on what you're trying to do, you have to know this part. You have to have this part down because the targeting, whether you're targeting the entire population and the entire, in the, in the entire area, area, and you're not even focused on a specific age group or a specific type of interest, and you're just leaving it wide open and you're just targeting the entire city. Yeah, some of you businesses can just come out here and run a brand awareness or maybe run a video view ad just to get the entire entire area to know who you are. And then, and then once you track who actually watched it and then you retarget the people who actually watched it, that's when you start to see an ROI. It's on that retargeting of a video view. So if you're that type of person that just says, man, I just wanna run a, a complete broad freaking ad, do a video view, do a video view, do a video of what you got going on. Your insurance broker, okay, go get a selfie video done. Selfie, nothing professional, nothing freaking professional camera guy. You don't need to be hiring no camera crew. You're not a Gary Vaynerchuk. You don't necessarily need that at all. Um, if you're trying to be on that level, I guess, okay, go get a camera guy and have him follow you to the bathroom and film you while you're pissing. I guess you can do that. But majority of us aren't doing that, man. A majority of us are, are, just, are just direct to consumer and direct marketers, direct marketers, um, um, and, 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 and driving paid traffic. So if you are any type of small business owner, man, where you're in the position where you can literally make it relevant and pull out your phone and introduce yourself. Hey, I'm the local insurance broker. Hey, I'm the local realtor. Hey, I'm your local dentist or I'm your local chiropractor or, or I'm your local yoga, you know, instructor or, or I'm your local freaking, you know, um, electrician, like whatever the hell you do, man, you are a small business owner in a local community. Introduce yourself because chances are not everyone knows you, man. I'm out here in San Diego. I've been living in San Diego my entire life. I went to school here. All my homies are here. Every girlfriend I ever had was here. My wife is from here. Her family's from here. It's like, dude, I've been here forever. But not everyone in my city knows me, or nor do I know everyone in my city. Yeah, right. There's over 3 million people in San Diego. I don't know everyone at all. Like even in my own little city within San Diego, I don't know everyone. So if I was a realtor or if I was a plumber or a landscaper or an electrician or a doctor or a dentist, if I was any one of those people and building a business in my local community, introducing myself, how else could I do that? I, maybe I could telemarket. Maybe I can door knock. Maybe I can go print flyers and have my son pass them out shit, he's going to bribe me and make me pay him something, even though he's not even of age to even work. My little kid will still charge me an hourly wage, right? So it's like, dude, what else can you do to really get attention? You're going to put your face on a billboard? Okay, great. How much does that cost? You're going to put your face on, on park benches and bus benches? Okay, great. How much is that? You're going to run an ad on a local radio station out here, 95.7, out here, 90.3, Dude, how much does that cost? Like, how can you possibly get in front of your area? And that's why I was speaking to one of my clients earlier today, and she thought, man, I have a huge network in my local area. I said, still, I said, Stacy, you still don't know everyone. And I said, I said, someone like you that has a huge network, a huge local network, you have, you have an influence in your local backyard, someone like that. Here's what I told her. I said, Stacy, the absolute best thing you can do for your ROI, for an ROI, for your time on your investment, the best thing you can do is leverage a video. A video can, shoot, a video can run 24-7 while you're sleeping. Your message can be, can, be, can be viewed from someone in a specific targeted area because you're marketing to them. You're running an actual paid ad directly to a consumer in a specific area. Do you understand that your message can be viewed 
24 seven. And, and that's leveraging the system. That's leveraging a Facebook ad. Like it's like, dude, running an ad and getting it in front of your network. Okay. You have a network, you have a warm market. People know you let's stay in front of them. Do you understand with a Facebook ad, we can target them. Do you understand with a YouTube video ad, you can target them. So if you're really all that, and if you're really a huge influencer in your local backyard already, it, the best thing you can possibly do is run a Facebook ad and target them to stay in front of them, to remain relevant, to remain top of mind, and to remain viewership on the top of your funnel. We need to be driving people to a landing page, a simple landing page, man, a simple landing page. Um, FB ads for beginners.com is one of my, of one of my landing pages, bringing people to a simple landing page, whatever business you're in for a few bullet points about what you got going on, a headline, call out your audience. Who are you looking for? Call out that audience. That's the, that's the headline, a few bullet points. They click on the button. You capture the lead. It's as easy as that, man. It's as easy as that. Um, running simple Facebook ads right here, running simple Facebook ads and staying in front of that audience. And if you don't have a huge warm market and if you don't have a huge influence and if you haven't been shaking hands and kissing babies in your freaking backyard for the past 25 years, like my client Stacy has been, if you haven't been doing that, no big deal, man run some, start running some video view ads. This is for a brand new beginner. This is a brand new campaign. This is knowing how, knowing the most important basics before you even start. And even some of you gurus are on a whole different mind, mind trip as well. This is for the beginner. This is like the basic foundation. Here's what you can possibly do. It's an option. There's so many different ways, but here's a great way. Reach out to your cold market because again, like me, man, I've been living in San Diego forever. Not everyone knows me. If I was really building some type of local business, the best thing I would do, the best, the first thing I would do, the first thing I would do and the best thing I would do is I'd literally pull out my phone. I'd pull out my phone and I would do a selfie video and I'll say, Hey, what's going on, man? My name is David. I am your local real estate agent. I've been out here in San Diego for the past 27 years, fired up, been helping people in the real estate industry. Like if you did that type of video, man, you're an insurance broker, you're a freaking landlord freaking you're an investor you're a freaking um doctor you're because if you have it, chances are if you're a major major doctor okay great you're working at some crazy hospital but some doctors have their own practice some doctors are your local neighborhood doctors and they have a little ass storefront some of you guys that that are in that position that's you man i'm talking to you i'm talking to the small business owner it's everyone like they're all over you know it's what makes our country man um is this small business sector. And this is basic stuff, man. This is basic stuff that, 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 that you have to recognize and you have to implement and you have to jump aboard because this is social media marketing, man. You got organic, which is what I cut a video on the other day, organic versus paid traffic. You got organic. And then now we got paid traffic. This is paid traffic. So if we're building a local business, you guys start running paid traffic, man. This is where it starts. So I just wanted to cover this beginning part, you guys, and go over what you should know before you start a freaking ad, man. Um, again, one strategy is to simply introduce yourself. Cut a video, introduce yourself. You're the local insurance broker. You're the local realtor. You're the local plumber. You're the local whatever. And, and, and introduce yourself to your local market, man. That right there, that video view ad is so powerful because you run that. Let's say you put 100 bucks towards that. Let's say you run it for 10, let's say you run it $10 a day for 10 days. I'm going to encourage you, most of you to start off with that, man. A hundred bucks, a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks, $10 a day for 10 days. Okay. And you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to get a couple thousand people to view that video. And what you do is you, you retarget, you retarget your, your second ad, you retarget the people who watch the first one. And you keep building an audience after that. You keep building an audience. You start setting up custom audiences. You start setting up custom audiences. You can come up here and search. You can search custom audiences. You start setting up custom audiences and simply retargeting, running ads, staying in front of people that are watching your videos. Super powerful strategy. And it starts with an intro video. Okay. That's what you can do. Now, here's, here's the thing. Your second ad and on. 
your second added on, depending on how many views you want to spend a hundred, you want to spend 200. If you have a couple hundred, if you have a couple hundred, let me speak to people that, that are a little bit more advanced. If you have 200 bucks, throw it at video views. And this is your first ad and all you're doing is introducing yourself. I'm talking a very specific strategy. You are introducing, introducing yourself. This is an intro video. Okay. Just to warm up your audience, just to find your audience, you have a potential reach. Facebook tells you, you have a potential reach of a hundred thousand, but based on your budget, you're only going to be, you're only going to get maybe 4,000 to view it. That's perfect. Let's take those 4,000 and let's show them ad number two. Let's retarget them. Because ad number one was a video view. Ad number two is going to be different. That's when we're going to retarget the people who watched, let's just say the 4,000 people who watched video number one. We're going to retarget them. We're going to run an ad. We're going to get the audience. We're going to find out the audience. We're going to retarget them with ad number two. And ad number two can be something like conversions. Okay. Ad number two and on can be conversions. Now, it's, who's it going to be conversions for? Because again, knowing this first step is the most important because not everyone is going for conversions right away. Conversions are people, let, let's read it, drive valuable actions on your website. Okay. What that means is that when someone goes to your website, what is an action? What, what is a, a valuable action? A valuable action is a lead. A valuable action is a sell. So if you're trying to sell something and you, and you successfully sell it, that is a valuable action. If I am looking to capture a lead, if my number one objective, the only reason why I would even spend the dollar on a freaking Facebook ad, if my only objective is to capture a lead, drive them to a page like this, okay, where they can click the blue button and I can capture the lead. That's a valuable action. There is, there is, there is, there is um, value to that. There is a price to that, right? And so that is considered by Facebook a valuable action, and that is a lead. So 99% of you guys that, I'm, that I think I'm speaking to are online marketers, affiliate marketers. Those of you that are trying to build an agency, I've been building an agency for the past, well, since 2016, I've been, I've been trying to really crack the code and build myself a little social media agency. To this day, I've closed hundreds of clients um, and, and, it, and all through one specific method, all targeting one specific niche. And, and, and that's what I do full time. I've been doing that full time since 2016. So if you want to know exactly how I built mine, I want to share all my tips with you. I'm going to share all my tips with you. I want to, I want to, I want to. That's digitalagencyblueprint.com. That link is in, is in the description. Um, but conversions, if I was simply running a Facebook ad and I was going and I was driving them to that page that I'm telling you about, this is the link you see in the description, digitalagencyblueprint.com. This right here, man, learn how I built a highly profitable six-figure social media agency offering five simple services to easy clients. And I did it without paid ads, door knocking, or cold calling. Even if you know nothing about social media marketing or business, I'll show you how to duplicate my success and start making money right away. This right here, you guys, you come here, you click on teach me, and boom, I capture the lead. Teach me how to close more deals. I capture the lead. So if, I'm, if my number one goal is to run a Facebook ad, okay, and drive people to a landing page to capture the lead or to get them to register for a webinar. A lot of you guys are getting people to register for a webinar. You're running courses and things like that. You're getting people to register for a webinar. If that's, if that's you, because that's me, that's me. That's my next level is I'm trying to master that right now is perfecting my, my online course where I'm teaching social media marketing, Facebook advertising, teaching people how I built my agency and packaging it all up into a video series training course, a package, and really providing value and people pay you for that. Um, my whole goal is to drive people to a webinar, right? Or to capture the lead. In this case, it's just a simple lead capture. There's no webinar. I'm just capturing the lead. That right there, man, if that is my goal, which is I'm assuming it's a lot of you guys, you guys are coaching, you guys are selling courses, you guys are trying to look for clients, you guys are real estate agents looking for leads. This could easily be a lead capture ad for a listing. I'm running a Facebook ad, they click on the ad and boom, they come here. 
get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points, view all photos now. Imagine they're seeing your Facebook ad, okay? Let's see, let me, let me bring you to a, a clear, real, hardcore example. Let's go to, um, let's go to this real quick because this is exactly how you would see it in the newsfeed. If any of you guys, you know, businesses, people start promoting their business. Let's say, for example, this is, this is an agent. Let's show you another one. This is an agent promoting, looks like she's promoting a house. I guess this is how, how she posts it, which is so freaking, you know, not cool. Look at this one, open house. Okay, so she's posting this, price drop, open house. Okay, and all it is is a link to her business page. If this was, if this said learn more, okay, and if this was an actual ad, let's look at another one. Let's look at another one. Here's a listing right here. The great news, Los Angeles County. Are you looking to become a homeowner? Okay, so look, this one right here, you guys, and there's the video of, of, of I'm assuming it's, well, it, that's not Brenda, it's some other guy, but it's a buyer seminar. Let's see, I click on sign up. Let's see where he takes me. It takes me to an Eventbrite. So that's for a webinar. That's for a webinar, right? That's something that's that that's for an actual webinar, but it's it's still a good call to action. But let's look at a, at a normal listing. Okay, so let's look at this one. Take a look at this beautiful property and tour live. Call, text, bam. There's the info. Okay, video of the property. Simple, simple selfie style video of the property. What's missing? is a link rather than send message rather than send message there it should it should say learn more and right when i click on learn more you're bringing me to this page right here okay this right here is a conversions ad now if you if your whole objective was to sell that house and capture your next lead of the person that's going to buy it if your whole objective is to post that and then and then get people to 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 enter in and inquire and opt in you want to send them to a landing page and if that is your objective you can't run an engagement you can't really run traffic you definitely cannot do a video view look it's a video it's a freaking video you would think because it's a video that we can come over here and run a video view ad and it's going to get us what we want what do we want a freaking lead. That's our objective. I'm only running ads to capture leads. I'm going to get you to register for a webinar. I'm going to get you to opt in to my, to my, to my landing page. I'm going to get you to buy something, a physical product where you're going to actually buy something. If that was my objective, which it is, I'm assuming it's most of you guys is you guys are coaching, trying to get clients. You need leads. Like you need leads. You need customers. You need leads. You cannot run these different types of, you cannot run a video view ad expecting lead capture, okay? So even if this video, even if this was a learn more button, and even though he was taking me here, and even if he was taking me here, even if he was taking me here, if he was running that as a video view, chances are that wasn't gonna happen. Chances are, Facebook would have would definitely not perform per your objective of lead capture because you didn't run the right objective. You did not write the, you did not click click on the you did not run the the correct consideration. Bottom line, if your goal is to capture leads, it's not going to happen on traffic, it's not going to happen on engagement, it's not going to happen on brand awareness, reach, app installs, lead generations, messages, Catalog sales or store traffic, it would happen on conversions. It took me almost a year and a half, almost two years to figure out that my leads, that conversions was the best one to run. And again, man, I jumped into, into, into Facebook ads really in 2017 and just been trying to crack the code and been cracking the code, right? But it's like, damn, dude, no matter how good the video was, no matter how good the, 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 the image was for the ad, no matter how good the ad copy was, 
no matter how much I knew the targeting or the detail targeting or the, or the demographics or the age of people that I wanted to target, no matter if I knew all that, if I was running the wrong objective, right? We're here in the objective. This is campaign objective. If I was running the wrong one, it, it nothing would have happened, man. I would have been pissed off. I would have been like, nah, Facebook ads suck. They don't work. It's not going to work for my business. I would have been salty, right? And unless I knew the correct objective. And that's why I call this the basics, man. So if you're into, and if you're, if you're coming across Facebook ads for the first time, man, allow me to mentor you and, and, and just show you around the basics. That's FB ads for beginners.com. That link is in the description. That's the first link pinned in the comments, FB ads for beginners.com. That's where I'm going to just be breaking down these basics, man, showing you real ads that I'm running, real ads that I run for clients and showing you the basics. And it starts here, man. It starts with knowing the correct objective. If your goal is to capture leads, that's going to be conversions. Okay. Now you could run traffic, but traffic is mainly for retargeting. So for example, I'm telling you to run video views for 10 days, which you could also do if you were driving them to a landing page. And, and, and you were looking for people to opt in or, or do something or, or buy something, right? You can run that to, you can run that under traffic, but make sure that that landing page, make sure that your Facebook pixel is installed. Make sure that that Facebook pixel is embedded on that landing page because the, the, the best strategy, the absolute best strategy when running the traffic campaign is the fact that even if you are driving it to a landing page, and again, the whole objective is to capture leads, I'm telling you that it might not happen on traffic, but the advantage that you would have is that because your Facebook pixel is on that, face, is on that landing page, or even on that website, let's say it's not a landing page and you don't, you don't have the one call to action button where it captures the, the lead. This is what you need, but let's just say you have a random website and your website has contact us, about us, meet the team, directions to the office. If you had a basic website like that, damn it, hold on real quick. And, and you weren't necessarily going for lead capture, then again, make sure your Facebook pixel is on that page, right? And run traffic so you can retarget on Facebook ad number two, you can retarget everyone who landed on that page, okay? They may not have opted in because it wasn't a conversions ad. They may not have opted in, but they for sure got there. And that's what traffic is. Traffic is the campaign where send more people to a destination on or off Facebook, such as a website. So they'll send them there, they'll send them to the page, right? Traffic, they'll give you traffic that that landing page just better convert like it better convert there better be the right images the right ad copy it better it better be relevant to everything you're pitching um, um but again it's not designed to to really hardcore capture leads what it's really designed is to get people to your page so then you can track them with your facebook pixel and retarget them in the future with conversion ads because your goal is to capture a lead is to get them to register for a webinar so, so after you find the audience, you have a potential reach of 100,000 people, but only 5,000 actually landed there. That's your audience. They had enough interest to click on your ad and at least see who the hell you were. They didn't opt in. They didn't give up a name and number, nor was your web page even maybe designed that way. Maybe you don't have a landing page like this. You're just driving it to your website, right? But just, again, make sure there's a Facebook pixel on it so you can, so you can track who's landing there through the traffic campaign. And then you can run Facebook ad number two and, and, and maybe put another, another couple hundred towards that. Now you're in at 400 bucks, but now you're running that last $200 ad budget under conversions. And this is when you'll start capturing leads. But you have to make sure that you set up a custom conversion. And the link, you could just type in custom conversion here at the top set up a custom conversion and the link is going to be the, 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 the URL from your thank you page. Okay. That'll be for a whole nother video, but that's conversions, man. If the goal is to capture leads. So brand awareness, you can do the same thing with brand awareness. People, it says right here, increase awareness for your brand by reaching more people who are more likely to be interested in it. So it's just a, a, a broad, targeting, targeting a hundred thousand potential reach, but then 10,000 people actually are aware of it. 10,000 people actually see it. They don't do anything. They don't engage. They don't click. They don't, 
give up a name and number. They just see it. It's like an impression. It's like a video view. That's why I'd rather just go video views. But if, it, if you don't have a video, then maybe, maybe go brand awareness or go maybe reach. Um, and if you're, and if you are driving them to a landing page, just make sure that your Facebook pixel is on that learn more button. It's on that landing page. Make sure it's, it, your Facebook pixel is tracking that engagement. So then you can go on Facebook ad number two, Facebook ad number three, and so on. And you can go and, and, and run conversions again, man, I'm speaking to those that are selling stuff that are either selling physical products or, or, or going for, or looking for clients or looking for, for one-on-one -on -one clients, you plumbers, you dentists, you landscapers, you realtors, you insurance agents, you guys are looking for leads, man. So that's going to be conversions, conversions. And that's why at the end of the day, man, the majority of us of, of who I'm assuming my audience is, we're running conversion ads, bottom line, bottom line. If, if we want to run some videos and, and, and run it under the video views. Okay. Let's say you got four or five videos lined up and you're like, okay, damn dude, I want to start talking about insurance. I want to start talking about the benefits of, 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 of life insurance. And I want to, and I'm fired up about getting it to people and, and, and getting clients and, 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 I'm, and I, and, and I could talk all about it. If you're that type of person and you got videos to drop, you got content to drop. That means that you're also putting videos up on YouTube and building your YouTube channel. Cause that's what you for sure want to be doing. Check out my recent video, um, organic versus paid traffic. That was the video I dropped the other day, but that is a good explanation as far as if, if, if you are that type of business owner and you have content for sure, build a YouTube channel with that video. And with that video, you can also run Facebook ads, do it under video views, and then just retarget, retarget the people who are actually watching your videos, retarget them under conversions. Because at the end of the day, I know you're looking for a lead as well, right? No matter who you are, man, you're looking, you need, we need a name and number. Dentist, doctor, we need a name and number. We need customers. We need leads. If you're a real estate agent, you need a listing, you need a buyer, you need a lead right now today, you know? So Video views is where you'll stay. Engagement is just, it's those, it's those posts that we see on Facebook, man, that end up having, let's see, it ends up ha having um, a ton of engagement. Like if you just scroll through your, through your newsfeed and you see a post that has, look, this has none. And this is a major, major guy, Alex. Shout out to Alex. This guy's a freaking G. Um, but him this is not an engagement. This could be a video view. Let's see how many, let's see how many views it has. Let's open it up more. And I just applied a template I've been applying for the past four years to sell products via ads. Okay, so it doesn't have the views, but this could easily be a video view ad or for sure, no, actually I scratched that. It's not a video view ad because it would show the views, but this right here for sure, for sure is either an engagement ad or a conversions ad. Bottom line, bottom line, bottom line. It's either engagement or conversions. This ad, he's getting me straight to a landing page to opt in. Straight to a landing page, I click the one green button, there's the opt-in. Look, man, this guy, Alex, dude, shout out to Alex. No disrespect to Alex. Alex is a freaking G. This guy crushes it online. This is who I aspire to be like. But it's like, shit, dude, look, look. Look how ugly this page is, dude. Look how ugly this page is. There's nothing to it. This guy is driving traffic, man. And that's what I'm saying. He is most likely because there's not a high engagement. When you look at ads that have freaking hundreds of likes, hundreds of shares, hundreds of comments, that's an engagement ad. Okay. A lot of people used to do those types of ads because of, because of the social proof. You see the big numbers on the post and it looks sexy, right? But it's not giving you your ROI. It's not giving you what you're paying for, which is freaking, I guess you're paying for that. You're paying for the engagement. But at the same time, you need a lead. We need a lead. So it's not that engagement ad that we're going to be running to achieve our goal of getting a lead. It's going to be conversions. So that ad, to tell you the truth, this could for sure, for sure be, be a conversion ad. Knowing that I'm a good person that clicks on stuff 
and knowing that I'm, I'm, I'm someone that's possibly, likely, Facebook knows this, that I am likely to, to, to convert. I am likely to come over here, click his button. Facebook is tracking all this activity, man. Um, first name, email, opt in, and you watch a webinar. That right there is a conversions ad for sure, man, okay? Most likely, it ain't a traffic. It could be a traffic. It could be a traffic, but it, it's 99% for sure conversions, and that's where you'll stay around, man. You could play around with engagement if you want, all those likes and shares. That's cool, too. Maybe if you're not driving anyone to a landing page, um, engagement would be good for you. So if you're not driving anyone, I use Profit with Kartra dot online that link is in the description i use that software for all my landing pages for my digital courses to sell my book to create my email autoresponders to host my videos to check out and sell my products there's a checkout there's a freaking you know checkout online all that's done through kartra so profit with kartra dot online there's a 14 day trial play around with that but if you don't have a landing page like that of some sort, right? Engagement could be good, man, where you're keeping the, 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 the engagement on Facebook. So that means that you're micromanaging all of the comments that are coming in because those are your leads. You're micromanaging the freaking comments. You're on your phone all day replying to people. I don't want to be doing that. I want to send you straight with the conversions to my landing page to capture the lead. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do, right? That's either going to be a lead for just my, my, my course coming out, which is, which is what Facebook or not, but FB ads, which is what this page is all about. FB ads for beginners. This is for the beginner. So this is me just building a list until my course is really ready to, 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 to freaking, you know, be released, driving people here, capturing that lead, right? Clicking on that, capturing that lead, that right there. It's most likely if I if I didn't have that, then then I'll just try, I'll just run engagement and get people to just comment and I can just micromanage, get them off of the off of Facebook and maybe maybe ask them for their phone number and text them and then eventually get a phone call with them. What I do is I do all my when I'm when it comes to building my social media agency, I am getting all of my clients through through the DM on social media, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, you can hit people up through the DM. 100% of all of my clients, hundreds of clients since 2016, full-time focused one niche. That's digitalagencyblueprint.com. So that's where I'm going to be teaching everyone how I did it and what I've been doing since 2016 to build a full-time agency. It's what I've done since day one, digitalagencyblueprint.com. But if, 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 um, if I didn't have any type of lead capture or anything like that, dude, I would just keep it on, on this and then I'd have to micromanage it. Okay. So, so it's really, man, here's the bottom line. Lead generation. You can do lead generation. That's for those of you as well that don't have a landing page. So if you don't have a landing page, you can always go with messages, which is super powerful. We'll tying it to your mini chat. You can go messages. If you don't have a landing page, you can go lead generation. If you don't have a landing page, um, you can even go video views. If you don't have a landing page, um, and you can go engagement if you don't have a landing page. For those of you, and you can go brand awareness and reach. For those of you that do have landing pages, I'm assuming that you guys are a little bit more established. You take your business a little bit more seriously because there's probably money involved now. You probably are servicing clients, right? So you need software, whether it's building it for them or, or, or just yourself. Those of you that have landing page software, that's what I use Kartra for. So profit with Kartra.online. The link is in the description. 14-day trial, play around with it, and you're going to be running traffic and conversion ads to your landing page to capture the lead. As basic as this, man, driving people straight to, to a, a page like this where you, can, where you can capture the lead. This is fbadsforbeginners.com, and then this is digital agency blueprint. Um, dot com. Okay, so learn how I built a highly profitable six-figure social media agency offering five simple services to easy clients, and I did it without paid ads, door knocking, or cold calling. So, so these are the most important objectives when it comes to to step one and the basics, you guys. If you're looking to capture leads, it's conversions and traffic. If you're not really looking to capture leads, and, 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 and you're maybe driving it to a many chat or, or maybe just micromanaging and, and looking at comments, 
then you can go with engagement. You can go with video views. But again, you're only going to run video views to retarget the people who actually view it to now drive them to either a lead, a message, or even a conversion. Now, again, lead generation and messages are for those that don't have landing pages. I highly recommend you need to go and get you some landing pages. You absolutely have to, man. You have to, you have to, have to. Profit with Kartra.online. I use Kartra for all my pages. But because only because I know, man, if you're looking to capture leads, you got to run it to a landing page, man, to, to, to capture that lead. And that's conversion. And, and I'm capturing that lead so I can build an email list so I can eventually email them and build a relationship, which will actually get them on the phone and allow me to do business with them. So, or it'll put them on an email list where you can email them your affiliate offers. You know what I mean? Either or, but the whole goal is to capture is to capture that lead. Um, and that's your conversions, man. So start testing, man, start putting out conversion ads. Remember the pixel on a conversion ad, you have to set up a custom conversion and the pixel needs to be the custom conversion. The URL has to be that thank you page. Okay. And, and that goes for those of you that are selling products, selling physical products. If you're selling physical products, your thank you page after someone purchases, they check out, they enter their visa, they enter their credit card information, they click on purchase and it takes them to a thank you page. That thank you page, that URL set up a custom conversion under that URL and you're going to be driving conversion ads directly to that page. That's the objective. Okay. And it's to, it's to, it's to, it's to get purchases. You're optimizing for purchases or you're optimizing for lead generation to a landing page conversions, man, conversions. Okay. So hopefully that made sense. You guys, I try to make it quick. I try to make it simple, but at the same time, man, this stuff fires me up because it's so important. It's so basic and most people miss it. So I'll see you guys on the next video, run your ads. Um, and make profits, man, over and out.